are continuing uh, to just watch Hurricane Ian intensify rapidly uh, over the day now. What started as a weak storm is nearing uh, Category 5 strength now, and it's a nightmare for forecasters, and it's an increasing trend that has us once again looking at climate change and just how rapidly these can intensify, these, these tropical storms. Kerry Emanuel is a meteorologist, also a hurricane expert at MIT. He has studied and written about climate change and the unpredictability of these hurricanes and how that can affect a community's uh, preparedness. Right. Uh, Kerry, you know, let's just talk about these storms and, and why they are getting stronger faster. Yeah, so we've known for uh, well over 30 years that there's kind of a speed limit both on the maximum wind speeds you can have in a storm in a given atmospheric environment, and also at the rate at which that wind speed changes. And uh, as you warm the climate, both of those uh, speed limits go up, and we're beginning to see in actual observations that we're getting more intense storms and more rapidly intensifying storms. And we always watch uh, these storms gather strength over that warm water. Uh, the warmer, the more intense, uh, depending on the circulation. So uh, the power that we're seeing here, you're saying that this is something that we can expect more of because of uh, the warming climate and the warming oceans? Yeah, there's a pretty strong consensus now among the uh, scientists who study the connection between hurricanes and climate that as you warm the climate, you should see more of the very high category storms like three, fours and fives, maybe fewer of the ones and twos, by the way, um, and that you should see more rapidly intensifying storms. The other big factor that has us all worried is that a given storm, all the things equal, being equal, will rain a lot more in a warm climate. And it's freshwater flooding that's one of the big killers in hurricanes historically. Mm -hmm. And as you're watching just the rapid intensification of this hurricane, I mean, it means a tougher time for, for disaster teams to just prepare. And what do you think it, it means for local officials and residents because they've got less time uh, as it moves faster? And, and could that make the situation that we're witnessing now just become more fatal, more disastrous, more catastrophic? It certainly can do that. I mean, the forecaster's worst nightmare is going to bed with a tropical storm somewhere, say, in the Gulf of Mexico, waking up the next morning with a Cat 4 bearing down on the coast. You don't have the time now to organize evacuation. So it takes uh, an adjustment by everyone. Forecasters have, have to continue to improve uh, intensity forecasting. Fortunately, it is getting better, at least slowly. And the residents that are live in hurricane prone areas have to be aware that they may be given less notice to evacuate, that they may have to, to scramble faster than they might have had to do uh, years ago. Well, Hurricane Ian now making landfall. Carrie Emanuel, thank you so much for your insight. Uh, I know this is a important and a precious subject matter to you. And um, you continue to teach a lot of us and those at MIT about what we're in for, for sure. Thank you, Carrie. Thanks a lot. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.